Yo, what is up, guys? Today I'm going to be doing another video. Well, today we're going to be doing a video a bit different. Um, well, the video, as you can see in the title, is why you should and should not get World War Two. Um, one thing is, is that a lot of people didn't like it at first, and like a lot of people Team did Death because match. there was a lot of like. There was a really bad launch for the game, so just saying that like it is a very good game. It's just that sometimes it's it's very annoying. Like I mean, the, the connection on this game is pretty bad. So when like sometimes I can't really find a match, but they I, they're going to fix that very soon. I think they're already up for America, so in America they should be able to play it all well now, like with all good connection. But as you guys can see, we're playing on the um, US USSS Texas here, and I gotta admit, the guns in this game are so good. They're they're fun to use, and they're just really good. Especially the snipers, because did I just get collided? I think I just did. No, I did not. But the snipers and the STG and all that is really good. So the guns are good in the game and the maps. I'm not really the biggest fan of the maps in this game, but like it's still pretty good for what you're worth. Like it's, it's a pretty good game to get for it's because I know a lot of people want to know what they're getting for their for Christmas, and I gotta admit. It is a good game. It's worth buying, and like the launch was pretty bad. So if you hear really bad things about it, it's probably because the launch is bad. But it was really good. Like it just been confirmed that Gun Game has been released to the game, which is going to be fun. We really hope it's going to be infected, and like infection, and it's going to be a fun game. I feel like it's going to be a game to remember. It's not going to be like Infinite Warfare, like. I do like the new system with um, with headquarters. That's pretty fun place. You got mail, which is where you give you, you get um, your pay. You get your pay way. They'll show you in a minute. Like you get money for what you've been playing for, and then you can like get those uh, epic editions uh, variants for your guns, which is pretty good. And I've just unlocked six cent mag, so that's good. Um, but the only thing that I really do not like that what they've changed this year is that they have changed the class setup. So these are what the class setup. I know a lot of people, if they've been trying to find as much out, um, much about this game, you can see that there's not much personal personalization, and I know a lot of people have been wondering like, can you change them? Can you use like extended rounds on? the PPSH you can't okay guys so it's only on shotguns but you can use the bayonet on the I'm not really sure I'm gonna have to check but um so they have changed that the score streaks are really good in the game um there's also a nuke if you wanna uh see how you can get nukes in the game go and check out um my other video class setup video how to get nukes it's pretty it's pretty good I've hit a nuke already but anyway, this is headquarters. I know a lot of people don't know what headquarters looks like yet. So this is your mail. You get um, payroll every three hours, and then you go when you've got your payroll, you come over Just to like the here, line, and you collect. I'm trying to get the STG variant. Uh, let's go all the way down here. It's all the way down the bottom. It's the last one. That's depressing. But anyway, wait. Is this the last? Yeah, okay. So that's the STG variant, guys. And then you have to work your way up to get this amount of um, payroll. I have bought the cheapest ones. And then I'm going to, you know. So you have to buy these stuff before you get that. But you can pack these in um, in supply drops. Like you can see here, this is a shotgun. And it, it's a pretty cool way, like, how they've done it this year. Like, but some look really weird, such as like this. This looks super weird, the M1911. But those are like the DLCs at the moment for the 
this game and I just wanted to do you guys to see that. So when you come over here and you get some challenges, so um, you can do get tennis um, SMG classes suppress suppressed um, kills basically in airborne division. You would get a supply drop out of that. I'm not sure if it's common or whatever. You can do this, get 10 tank. Uh, okay, so you basically you go into war and you uh, recruit, you push the tank forward. And you get um, 24 armor keys. That's pretty good. If you see up the top right, I've got 640 right now. I spent mine on those things that you just saw with the STG. That's pretty decent to start yourself off. So I would recommend putting some challenges on. And then you got theater mode where you can watch LMG, uh, MLGs play and stuff like that. Um, like, thing, all different types. This is where you can do your emblems and things. This is pretty cool. And then if you come over here, you've got guns, gunsmith, just like the normal. There is gonna be paint jobs. And you can all do these very soon. It's just, I think we're waiting for next week. I'm not sure. Which is, for me, is... Um, people in America, it would be Thursday. And it would be, for me, Friday. So this is the 1v1 place. You can put yourself up for 1v1s. And then this is the place where you want to go. The general. You can't get in here until... Let's see. Sorry, soldier. The Overlook is above your pay grade. Exactly. So you can't be able to... You have to go in there when you prestige, which is a pretty cool looking over all the things on D-Day, which is pretty cool. And I really like the customization like at the moment, and I love this place right here. I've hit like at least a thousand shots. You can just do whatever you want. You can just fire away, you can just keep going, you've got unlimited um, ammo, but see look, this guy's literally unstoppable, I'm, I might have seen some of you guys see that, but yeah, so these are like, go and check out some of my class that I've used, but honestly, if I was to buy the game, I if I had a choice to buy Call of Duty, I would buy this game and BR3. If I had to choose two, I'd have to choose those two. Like, for literally these guns and like everything's pretty good for this game. I, I, I thought it was going to be a flop at first because the launch is so bad, but it was it's so good. Honestly, guys, recommend buying this. And like, you've got social here, you've got a lot of like achievements you can do. Like, I've only got a couple more uh things to do until i get 500 kills which is a weekly order you can do that and i've only got like a couple more hours so i'm gonna work on that but honestly guys this game is so fun i'd really recommend it if you guys haven't seen my nuked out videos yet how to get nukes go and go and check it out it will be it will probably be the next one to do it, go on my channel, have a look, and yeah, also, yeah, just go and check that out, and also guys, the last thing I'm going to say, a couple more things I'm going to say is go and subscribe to APT Snipes, APT Shadow, they're my um, friends on the on YouTube right now, and um, we're just working our way up, and yeah, so, also guys, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and if I was you, I'd buy this game, so you might as well go and buy it. It'll help a lot of people out, and it means that I'd have more people to first. So go and buy this game, guys. It is a thumbs up for me. Honestly, guys, try it out. It'll be probably one of your favorite games so far, and yeah, peace.